Look, if you're not in a home, you're renting an apartment, you know it's not cheap here in town to do so. It's tough to find a nice place to live, especially if you're on a tight budget. Let's say you found a pretty sweet pad at a nice price, but here's the catch. You have to live on contaminated land. If you're trying to rent in Manatee County, that's a dilemma you actually might be facing. There's a new complex going up in Bradenton along State Road 70, and that's where we find 10 News reporter Emerald Morrow, who's there for us tonight. Emerald, anyone looking for a place knows we need more affordable housing, but at what cost? Yeah, Ryan, that is a serious question. I mean, this is a nice area. You've got a public pool here, some nice tennis courts. But if you look back over this way where these apartments are going to go, there's still some serious contamination in the area. And uh, developers, they're moving ahead with this plan, even though there's still a lot of questions about the risk. Uh, I just turned 18. I'm kind of looking to go off on my own just because, you know, I want the whole freedom of being an adult now. But finding an affordable place to live in Manatee County is not easy. I looked into some apartments around here, but they're just completely out of my, my price range. But that could change when the Housing Trust Group builds 96 brand new units here along State Road 70. This is really kind of workforce housing, median income, so those that are making uh, about $50,000 and, and below. Sounds perfect for the average person looking for a reasonable place to live until you find out the backstory. This parcel of land is a brownfield site, meaning it's an old commercial or industrial property that could be contaminated. In this case, chemicals from an old dry cleaner nearby seeped into the groundwater, making it unsafe for use. Everybody who moves in should be able to live there comfortably without the fear of that contamination coming back to haunt them later on. The Department of Environmental Protection says the developer has already cleaned up most of the site and there's no contamination in the soil. But since the water is a problem, the apartment would have to use the city supply. No drilling allowed. If it gets the land cleaned up, then do it. I think it's better than not clean, cleaning it up. Now, I just learned that the developer has cleaned up some of the groundwater, but there is still some contamination that remains. So they are going to have to keep an eye on everything to make sure that it's not spreading. Back to you.